And it's very hard for people to see it, even for people within the field. You know, uh, you know, people laugh. I, 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 there's textbooks that will laugh at a, a scientist, Lamarck, who talks, you know, the contrary to Darwin, people are familiar with, you know, Darwin was natural selection. And then, you know, Lamarck was in, on, the, on the premise of what you do in your life does have an impact to your offspring. Mm. So, you know, in the 80s, 90s, that was all mm -hmm. laughed at. Textbooks, heck, even to this day, if you open up a textbook, you'll see how they sort of slander Lamarck with, you know, tall necks and giraffes and examples. They're not necessarily important. But the funny part is, is today, what do we call Lamarck's very much so hypothesis, very much so ideas? We call it epigenetics. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's absolutely phenomenal. Most important topic of today's day and age is actually understanding how are we using the genome. Yeah, I can exercise one leg, and I can keep the other leg completely, ice like very very sedentary. And what do we see? We see that one leg's ep you know epigenome changes, and the other leg e epigenome changes. I, within one person, we can see how that shifts just yeah. based off activity. So you know, this is the thing where there's fashions in science, and this is what I also love. This is the fun part of getting into it. That's why it's important to always have the conversation. See when. When the science conversation is being had in the media, you, you know right away that has absolutely nothing scientific. 